Apollo's is an iconic dining destination in the South Towns. Reporter Tony Farina visited there recently to savor the flavor of this family institution and find out what they are doing to help scholar athletes. Well, good, good day. I'm here with uh, Dennis DiPaolo. Uh, that name is certainly familiar to our viewers. He's the son of Ilio DiPaolo, and he's famous in his own right for running one of the best <laughs> Italian-American restaurants anywhere. Great old Italian cuisine. I appreciate it. Anything that. you want, it's just terrific. Carrying on in the tradition of his father, who started a long time ago, I think yeah. 18, 1965. 19, you're correct. And, uh, of course, Ilio, the Hall of Fame wrestler, was killed in a tragic accident in May of 1995. And Dennis has taken over and has continued the tradition of serving Western New Yorkers some of the best Italian food. Well, I appreciate Italian that. American yeah. cuisine you can find anywhere. Yeah. We've been blessed. I mean, when I look back in the history of my father in 1965, looking to get out of pro wrestling, um, and, not, not, and basically his dream was very simple. He just never wanted to be hungry like he was in Italy, you know, after World War II. So that whole that whole generation, you know, coming to America was looking to be something that uh, uh, that they could aspire to. And my father's, you know, being a big, strong wrestler, uh, being discovered, coming to America, you know, wrestling got him his name and got him a, a start. And that's what he kind of propelled it all into, like, Maron. I got I never wanted to be hungry. And that's what it was. So we opened up a restaurant and a handshake with the uh, M&T Bank and uh, George Taylor built the building for him and said, Ilio, you can start paying me once you open. And 57 years later, we're still here and, and blessed by many angels that uh, take care of us uh, through the ups and downs in life. And you do a lot of things here to, for the community in return for uh, the success yeah. you've enjoyed here. Yeah. Uh, philanthropic efforts, endeavors on your part. Highlighted, I guess, by the scholarship uh, fund. Yes, the, yeah, the Apollo been, Scholarship Fund. Why don't you talk yeah, about no, that? Yeah, no, we've been we've been blessed. I mean, it was my um, father always believed that you know sharing success was uh, with the community was was continued on because you know the bigger and the more popular and the more successful you became, you know, the more you gave back is is, is gratitude. Yes. It's May sixteenth. We have our uh, scholarship winners right here at the main, yep, our in main uh, the main wrestling. Um, awards that we give out. Uh, there's seven of scholarships that we give out that night. It's a great night to see these young men. Um, you know, they're all they're exceptional, you know, being wrestling. And I'm going to be a little slight because, you know, as wrestlers, you know, kind of, but, you know, that devotion, going in a ring and around a mat one-on-one -on -one and your girlfriend's watching, your parents are watching, just you and him. There's no one to blame if you lose whatever. And I mean, it, it's it's quite a fear. Um, I remember I think I won half my matches just because I was scared. <laughs> so <laughs> where'd that come from? I was just scared. I didn't want to lose. My father's watching. You've got something opening up in the uh... Woodlawn Beach, yes. Yeah, Woodlawn uh, Beach. When's yeah. that going to be? Uh, May May fourteenth. We're starting out with a vendor craft show and a car show also. Um, but we start out. It's uh, the Woodlawn Beach State Park here in uh, Blaisdell. Um, it was one mile away, and my partner John Palmer and you know who's in Blaisdell, and I say, and I don't know that might be. I don't know. There's so much to take care of, so much to do this. To, and if we don't, the state said either you take over everything, Dennis, or it's going to be we're going to you know shut it down a little bit. We're like, oh no, we can't do that. And my partner said to Dennis, it's in our zip code, one mile away. <laughs> He's been in business 55 years, we've been in 57 years, let's go do it. So we went in there and we did it, and it's going on our third year. Unfortunately, we got hit with COVID the past two years, but so we're really excited now. We got bands every night, music, it's a great location. The state's done a great job. You're going to have your really food there too? Uh, it's a different, it's beach, more beach food, you know, it's kind of tough to eat the twirl spaghetti on the beach, you know, and a little meatball. So we kind of said, well, let's keep away from the sauce, you know. Well, let's <laughs> talk real briefly. It seems like you know everybody that comes in. <laughs> well, we've been blessed over the many years. They've watched me grow up, a lot of the people, and, yeah, you know, and I've grown yeah. up with a lot of them. Now I'm growing up with their kids, and, you know, we're, we're very lucky. And, like I always say, blessed because we truly are when you have the people. You know, you're watching a little kid. Uh, that they're christening, next you know you're at the communion, next you know it's her shower, next you know a lady's getting married. It's like, oh, Maron, your whole life has been at Ilios, and we're proud of that. Absolutely. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, Dennis, for spending some time with us today. And uh, speaking of the DiPaolo family, your father, the Hall of Fame wrestler, you, the Hall of Fame restaurateur, who's done a terrific job here. Yeah, thanks. So and, of course, your son, Ilio. Yeah, thank you. Who's the third generation of the yeah. family, is yeah. working here with you, too. Well, the one thing about uh, DiPaolo's restaurant is that when you come here, you feel at home. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's thanks, very man. comfortable. Uh, the staff is friendly and efficient, and you just... It's just a wonderful place to be. Thank you, no, thanks, Dennis Tony, DePaolo. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you, Tony. And we're going to talk now to Ilio. Uh, 
Dennis's son and the, the grandson of the great Ilio de Paolo. And he's now the third generation to Paolo to be involved in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And I know you serve here as what, general manager? Or what's your title here? Uh, Aside from Dennis's... A little, little bit of everything, whatever yeah. you need, whatever needs to be done. And when you done. say that, you mean it. Yep. Tell sure. us what you do here at de Paolo's. Oh, yeah, shoot. I'll do anything from front of the house, back of the house, uh, morning to last one out at night. So. Like I said, each day is a different day. You know, each week is different and seasonally as we transition through into summertime. And uh, you know, like I said, just do what you got to do. Now, you were, uh, you would work with the Buffalo Bills for a little bit. Correct. Yeah, in the marketing department. Um, great job there with uh, Mr. Major, Mark, uh, Mark Honan. Great um, organization to see, like, the real big picture of everything, which is a great learning experience for me. But you came back to the... Yeah, Family business. yeah. you know, I like to eat. I like to eat some pasta, and just uh, <laughs> lunch breaks weren't long enough there, so I had to come back over with Pops, that's for sure. What's the, what's the most important thing you think you've learned from your father? Uh, stay organized. Stay organized and always uh, be ready for the next day, too. You know, just always be looking ahead and just always continuing to, uh, you know, forecast what's going on and, uh, you know, just know, know the whole operation. So we got great staff, great culture here. Um, that's one thing that... I know that my grandfather, since 1965, you know, our family's name is on the building, so we take pride as like you're coming into our house, so we want to feel, we want everyone to feel welcome uh, and very comfortable as well. And I mean, this house sauce recipe hasn't changed since 1965, but they got some great, nice modern Italian flair as well uh, to add. Well, if it's good, you don't want to change it. Correct, right? correct. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's right, that's right. <laughs> well, all the best of luck to you, Love, Appreciate it. Uh, luck to you, Ilio, in the future, I know. The third generation, at some point, you know, you'll probably take the range, but yep. uh, I don't want to push anybody out the door. Your dad's uh, still no, got a no. few years left. Keeping them young or driving them crazy, one of the two, <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All the best to you, All right. Hey, Ilio. thanks, Steve. Appreciate it, man. And good luck and continue good fortune.